Welcome FOB youth family and friends. This is Pastor Cody um, checking in with you guys. Hope you guys are having a great Saturday. We are in our Faith Greater Than Fear devotional series that we've been going through. Uh, started it yesterday. We are on day two. So yesterday, um, just to recap if you haven't seen it or haven't done it yet or haven't gotten on the devotional plan yet, um, check in with us. Make sure you get on that devotional plan. But day one was um, basically around the concept of what God gives, he never takes away. Um, when, when God gives his peace, it's not like the world where it is taken away from you, but it's, it's when God gives it to you, it's, it's, it's ours. It, he wants to love us. Um, he, he wants to give us. It's not like the world. So remember that. What God gives you, he'll never take away. He wants to love you, um, and he wants to give you his peace, um, which means you, have, you need to spend time in the Word, spend time in His presence, um, so you can just receive from Him. So that was day one. Day two is today. Day two, um, the say what or the, the, the point is the moment fear comes, I will turn to you and trust in you, God. So when fear comes, when the unknown comes, we will turn to God and we will trust in God. Um, I don't know about you guys, but um, in the devotional, it kind of breaks down, you know, the trust fall. Uh, you probably have, have done it a lot, but it was huge when, when I was in middle school and even in high school where you just walk up to someone in the hallway and say, trust fall, and then you'd fall. Um, and you just hope that they catch you. Sometimes they don't catch you. Most of the time they did, or you just kind of fell into them and caught yourself. Um, I don't know about you, but, you know, a lot of times when when I do a trust fall or even in where someone says, hey, let's do a trust fall. And I'm like, okay. And I'm like, not quite sure if I trust them fully. What normally happens, you fall backwards and then you stick your foot back to catch you almost. And you're like, oh, oh, I wasn't sure. Um, and a lot of times we do that with God is you say, oh, I trust you, God. But then when things get tough or you start to fall a little bit, you, you try and catch yourself. You try and say, oh, I'm not sure if God's going to catch me. I'm going to try and do it myself. But God is asking us that he's there no matter what. He, he doesn't leave our side. And so he's asking of us to trust him when fear comes. So God is making the point in the psalm that we're going to read today is we don't need to have fear. Instead, we should be able to move that fear into trust because of our relationship with God. Um, and what he has done for us in the past. So if you look over your life and see where God has brought you out of or the, the victories that he's, he's helped you get to in your life, you should be able to see that God is, is working with you no matter if you feel him or not. And sometimes it's, it's hard to, you know, when you don't feel him to trust him because you're not sure if God is there or not. So God is the only one that will always catch you. And therefore, he's the one that deserves our trust. He's always by our side. He's always there. So we're going to look in, into um, Psalms 56 verse 3, and it says this, But when I am afraid, I will put my trust in you. So how many of you guys, you know, you're afraid of something, right? You're afraid of uh, bugs, or you're afraid of heights, or you're afraid of whatever. Um, and maybe right now you're, you're afraid of something that's going on in your life, um, wh whether that's the, the fear of this coronavirus, whether it's the fear of, you know, the unknown of what's going to happen uh, the rest of the school year, or, you know, maybe you're afraid of spending too much time with your siblings. And so whenever you're, you're afraid, just take a pause and think about, okay, God, I'm putting my trust in you. I'm not going to be fearful but I'm going to trust you and I'm going to listen and obey to what you have, um, you're pushing me or guiding me to. And so to the comes to the live it out point of this devotional, it says today, think about the areas and times in your life that God has caught you when you're falling. Think about those times. Remember these times and put new trust in God to be with you and catch you in the next season of your life or in the next um, struggle that you're going to be in. Um, just, you know, today reach out and try something new, um, knowing that your trust will only be in him. Think about all the victories that God has done in your life. Live that out. Think about those. Maybe even write them down in a journal if you journal, or even just make a list 
of all the things God has done for you in your life. And then I want to, I want to wrap up with this prayer. And it says this, it says, Lord Jesus, today help me trust in you beyond where I am and beyond what is comfortable to me. God, push me to have the kind of faith in you that will allow me to fall back freely knowing that you have me and you will not allow any harm to defeat me. It is in the name of Jesus Christ that I pray. Amen. Um, and I, I want to pray for you that's listening as well. That's a prayer that um, I want all of you guys to pray. Um, and I just want to pray right now that if you are afraid, if you are fearful, if you are, you know, struggling, I, I want to pray for you right now. Um, and, and just reach out to the youth staff, to myself, and let us know what you're struggling with so we can pray with you. Uh, let's pray. Lord, I thank you so much for these students and parents that are listening and doing this devotional. Um, Lord, I pray that anyone that is hearing this video, um, Lord, that they would be challenged to, to hop on this devotional, get it, get in with the youth and, and, you know, really dig deeper in the word, God, and, and really, you know, deal with things in their, their life. Lord, I pray that as we go through this devotional, that our faith would become greater than our fear if it's not already. Lord, I just pray for anyone that's struggling at home. Um, Lord, I pray for finances for their families. I pray for food on the table. I pray, Lord, that you would watch over and keep them safe in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray for our grandparents and even great-grandparents if they're alive right now, Lord, that you would keep them safe as, as this virus is attacking um, the elderly, God. Lord, I just pray that in this time of confusion, in this time of chaos, Lord, I pray that the church would rise up, that the youth would rise up and be the light to their friends, Lord, to, to share why they're so peaceful or why they know that they'll be taken care of and their friends would be receptive of that. I pray that in Jesus' name, amen. Awesome. Love you guys. Hope you guys have a great Saturday. Tune in tomorrow for our service at 1030. Um, and really, really uh, reach out to someone today, whether that's a student, a youth staff, or myself, and just connect with us today. We love you. Take care. This was day two. Tune in for day three tomorrow.